Have you ever needed a steam locomotive for your railway so much that you just slapped a boiler and some cylinders onto a spare flatbed wagon, only to accidentally create one of the most versatile steam locomotives ever? Because that's what this guy did. Born in 1839, Ephraim Shea worked as a teacher, a clerk, and a civil servant before saying, sod this office job, I'm going to become a lumberjack. He started his own logging company around the 1860s and wanted a better way of moving his logs to the mill, as he could only use snow sleds, meaning he could only move logs in winter. He constructed a narrow gauge tramway in 1875 to transport the trees, which allowed him to cut logs all year round. Eventually, Shea needed some sort of locomotive to run the line. As there wasn't any way he could buy engines to run on the narrow gauge rails at the time, he took a flatbed wagon that was used to carry the logs and just mounted a boiler to it. He then fitted two cylinders onto the boiler that would drive a set of wheels on the rear bogey of the flatbed. The driving wheels of the design underwent several changes, with chains and belts being used to power the wheels. The final design instead saw two cylinders mounted on the right side of the frame pointing downwards. The these were connected to a drive shaft which powered the wheels with beveled gears. The drive shaft was also flexible, which allowed the bogies to articulate, meaning it could negotiate tight corners much better. Because of the positioning of the cylinders, the boiler had to be set slightly to the left in order to counterbalance the cylinder's weight, giving the overall locomotive a unique profile. After getting the design patented, the Limmer Locomotive Works of Ohio built Shea a prototype engine in 1880. The engine was well equipped for the job and could pull the timber wagons with ease. The design was later improved, with a newer class B-type being built in 1884 that was fitted with a third cylinder. In 1885, a class C-type was built that had three cylinders and an additional set of bogies fitted to the frame, giving it more tractive effort, and a class D was made with four sets of bogies. The Shea design was very successful and was used all over the United States in quarries, factories, logging railways, and even plantation work. Its ability to accelerate quickly with heavy loads and run over steep and uneven tracks meant there was very little heavy-duty work the engine couldn't do. With all of its wheels powered and with weight on all of them, the engine had a very high tractive effort, although the small wheels and the way they were driven meant the engine didn't have a very high top speed. After Shea's patent on the locomotive's design expired, the Willamette Iron and Steel Works started to build their own Shea locomotives that were essentially copies of Shea's original design. They were called Willamette met locomotives for legal reasons, but most still refer to them as Shays. Other nicknames for the engines were Sidewinders or Stemwinders because of their unusual side-mounted drive shafts. Many were exported to around 30 different countries where they continue to show their usefulness, with some being sent to Australia and other such countries with booming logging businesses. While not the fastest or most elegant looking engines, the Shays were powerful for their size and served well for many years. 118 Shea locomotives have been preserved with many still running on preserved lines. Just goes to show how far improvisation can take you. Subscribe for more.